Welcome to this short tutorial which will uh, hopefully uh, give you a little bit of insight uh, to using sidechain compression within Cubase uh, 4.1 and this is a new fe feature to Cubase 4.1 um, so uh, you know previous versions do not have this enabled so on with the tutorial um, I've set up here um, a kick drum uh, using battery and a very basic uh, bass line uh, using V Station. And so just play those together. You can hear the uh, two elements uh, playing, um, but some of the energy of the kick drum is lost uh, because the frequencies. Uh, on the bass line interfere. So individually you can hear that there, there's far more going on than when they're played together. Right, so uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, place the compression on V Station 2 because that's where I want to be affected uh, by the um, input of the kick drum. So I'll just uh, go here. Dynamics compressor. So one thing you'll notice here there's a uh, new button uh, which is new to Cubase 4.1. Uh, and it says activate sidechain. So I'm going to click on that. Bring that out of the way. So it doesn't make any real difference to the sound at the moment. So on the battery channel, uh, with it, I'm going to activate a send, which will send the output of the bass kick drum to the compressor and affect the sound of the bass line. So you can probably just about hear that at the moment. If we make the uh, effect a bit more, the compression a bit more pronounced, you should be able to hear now it's affecting the attack of the bass line. It's quite extreme. setting and you should really be able to tell the difference there and that's it a really simple straightforward uh, implementation of sidechain compression